Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Python programming tutorial for Pygame from Centex and for Bucky and the New Boston. What we're going to be doing in this video is actually having the explosion in the shell hitting the tank cause damage to the tank. So to do that, there's a fair good handful of things that we need to add, but that's okay. We'll get it all in here. So uh, first of all, what we have to do basically is when that shell is fired, we then ask a question, and the question is, if that shell was within you know so much of that tank's location, then we say that was a hit. And it just so happens that our tank location is really the center of the tank. I mean, the tank location is right here. So if the shell hits in that in that perfect spot, then that would be a perfect hit. So uh, let's close out of this and come back here. So we just need through basically the um, the fire shell function they need to know the location of each other uh, so the enemy tank already knows where the friendly tank is and then the uh, friendly tank doesn't yet know the location but we can throw that in the function so for example fire shell um, we can pass through enemy tank x enemy tank y um, then when we go to call it down here in fire shell, um, we pass through those exact same variables. So enemy tank X, or um, yeah, yeah, that's right. Enemy tank Y. So we've done that. Now what we need to do is basically ask, although we don't really need the Y location, but that's okay. Um, you could use the Y location, like if you wanted the explosion to occur, like on the tank. You know, like if, if it hits the top of the tank, then bam. You know, uh, but for now, we're gonna try and keep it a little simple and not not worry too much about that. Um, we're mostly worried about the location of the shell when it hits the ground, pretty much. So, um, so in the let's do this one first. We'll do well. No, we'll do the enemy tank. The enemy tank is far more likely to get a shot off. So. Um, so it'll be quicker to show and illustrate with fire shell or with the enemy. So the enemy fires a shell, and basically what we do is um, at the top of this this E fire shell. Let's uh, go ahead and define damage, and we're gonna say damage equals zero. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and where. Um, Yeah, uh, really like right here is fine. So the question that we have is whether or not the shell's impact hit where the tank is. So basically, we just need to ask a quick question. Um, right here, would it will do. Um, in fact, actually, uh, let's just do it right here because this is when it hits the ground. So fire equals false, no problem. And uh, we're just going to ask a question and it's going to be if p tank x um, it's actually lowercase x if p tank x is greater actually p tank x plus 15 sorry is greater than hit x which is simultaneously greater than p tank x minus 15 then we're going to say you know within relative within 15 pixels of that center of the tank if we made a hit we hit the tank so we're saying that if that was the case uh, then there was a hit, so we'll just say print, and then we'll just say hit target, like that, just for debugging purposes, and then damage now equals 25, if that is the case. Now, at the very end of this E fire show, we're going to come down to the bottom, and it is going to uh, return damage. So whatever the damage was, if it hit, it was a 25, if it didn't hit, it's zero, it returns damage. Then we go into the game uh, loop function now, and e, and e fire shell. Now we just say basically uh, damage equals e fire shell. So that is returning damage. And then what we would do is we would just say um, player health. So player underscore health minus equals damage. Whatever the damage was, take it away from the health. So now let's go to the top here. Let's replace both of these with 100s. And let's see if uh, we did that right. Right, so we got hit and it took away from our health. So we'll fire again. 
Boom, we got hit. It took away from our health. Fire one more time. Boom, we got hit. It's taken away from our health. And then soon, we're going to flip-flop here. <laughs> right. So, so we don't actually have any uh, handling. This is in the negatives now, drawing our rectangle, and this will go on for a while. So anyway, uh, we obviously have to handle for that and cause the game over eventually, but uh, you get the point. So now let's close out of this, and let's go ahead and apply the exact same thing to the other uh, function. So we go up to Fire Shell. We already have Enemy Tank X in our um, information. So now we just basically ask the exact same question um, that we did down here. And in fact, we can just copy and paste for the most part. Um, so this way up here, um, paste. And so just in case you're lost as heck, we're underneath our fire shell function. And we're asking right after the point where we ask if the shell hit the ground. Down here, now we're throwing in an if statement, if p tank x. Um, so now instead of p tank x, it would be enemy, enemy tank x um, plus 15, enemy tank x plus 15. Hit underscore x stays the same, damage equals 25. So now that we've added that, we're scrolling back down uh, to the game loop. And once again, uh, we've got damage equals that. So then basically we just do this exact same thing. Damage equals fire shell. Come down here. Oh, you know what? We didn't start with damage equals zero. We'll have to add that before we run. But anyway, enemy health minus equals damage. But we forgot to predefine damage as zero. So let's go ahead and scroll up to that, um, that part. So fire shell, fire equals true. We're gonna say damage equals zero, and I'm not sure, I don't think we even return damage either, so let's do that. Return damage. And now let's go ahead and run it. Play, let's add some power to this bad boy. Fire, not quite, man. Add a little more power, boom. Hopefully we'll get a take, okay. So our hit registered, we'll fire again. Um, and so you can see both people's, both players' health is affected. So now we're happy with the hits. Obviously, we're kind of going overboard with the, uh, uh, or literally, quite literally overboard with the health that's just going into the negatives, no problem. Uh, so obviously, we have to fix that and a few other things. Again, we still want to make the enemy tank be able to move because otherwise, once we lock in, we're all set. Also, the enemy tank is still a little too difficult, but we'll get there. So anyways, uh, stay tuned for the coming videos, and thanks for watching.